But I want to take us back to the report released where there's all this all this media talk about how the median income in America risen has risen by 5% and that workers are experiencing unprecedented um, security and better pay and things of that nature. And everybody's kind of rushing to, to claim, you know, the recovery is real, it's happening, your lives are getting better, when it's really just a huge, you know, propaganda, basically like a propaganda campaign. Um, you know, when you look at economic data, economic data in particular, like it oscillates. So it'll go up, it'll go down. So it's not really useful for you to look at any one particular year and then try to create a narrative that's supposed to stretch across, you know, various sectors, various places and various points in time to have this narrative like it's working. So they took this one year you know, 2014 to 2015, I believe that was the years that they took to analyze in this particular study. And they made some claims that wages are doing better, people's lives are improving. But the narrative that they tried to make was that the recovery is real and all these people that are that are feeling bad or left out or that feeling that are feeling that there is no recovery, that they're all just making it up because here's data saying that there is a recovery and that the economic conditions for people really is getting better. So they want to take that one year and try to wipe out, you know, 36 years of economic data. And, and that's, that's incorrect. That's why it's, that's why it's flawed. Right? So since 1979, real wages in this economy have fallen, have been stagnant or have fallen. The real incomes of households have been stagnant or fallen for 36 years, inflation has gone up, you know, one, 2%, you know, it's gone up every year, you know, whatever it is, a small percentage, we have very, very low inflation right now, but partially because labor and, you know, wages are down. So your cost of production is down. So you're going to have low inflation during this time period, right? But at the same time, you know, wages are stagnant and falling, but we still have 1%, 0.8%, 1.2, sometimes 1.8% inflation. So slowly people's standards of living are actually um, eroding, so to speak. But you have all this hoopla when you have a momentary uptick, a one year momentary uptick of 5%, when you have a 36 year trend that's going straight down. It's going straight down, but you have one year uptick of 5% and there's all this hoopla and this huge, you know, pop out the trumpets and everybody starts going in a parade and everything's hunky-dory when really what they're doing is using this one year uptick to ignore 36 years of economic data. And if you want to get even more recent, just since 2007, you know, most families are not seeing themselves having more money than they had in 2007. The wealth that was wiped out in the financial crisis has yet to be recovered from most American families. But this one year, this one uptick, everything's all right. It's all fine. You know, what we are looking at is they're trying to resell, you know, I'm going to kind of take it back to uh, what my grandmother told me. Um, they're selling you a wolf ticket or trying to throw us in a trick bag. Basically, it's, it's, it's literally a bait and switch. One year's worth of data is not going to basically overwrite the entire trend where the trend is just straight down. I've already said that before, but I really can't emphasize it enough. Economic data, you can't just take a snapshot and say, well, look, everything's great in this one little snapshot and then ignore everything that it, everything around it. So that's all I really want to say about that. We already know that, you know, poverty and food insecurity is on the rise. We already know that child poverty is on the rise. And we already know that, you know, whether you're looking at the sale of durable goods and consumer items, those things are going down year after year after year, but everything's all right. Because in one particular year, it was a 5% income. I'm um, sorry, a 5% increase in the median income. So that's all I'm going to say about that. And we're going to turn the page to Mr. Obama. 